What happens to the evil people? Hey guys, it's John drinking my little bit of coffee that's left. Mm-mm. Gone. So I got a question that came in that uh, that I've actually answered multiple times on this channel, but uh, with all the videos, a thousand, thousand videos on the channel, those are sometimes hard to find. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and answer. Um, what happens with the people who commit evil acts in the world? Really dark people. What happens with those people? Well, first of all, realize that the people who are committing evil acts are doing so out of fear, they're, the fear of not being loved. And so many times they're, they're mistaking power for love. Um, so they're very fearful people. Uh, the question that, that really is, is uh, being asked here is a, a question of justice. You know, how do they get their comeuppance? Um, in the physical world, we want to see a physical justice. And it's really interesting because people who, who, who are looking for physical justice are really in their own fear, the fear of, of not being um, uh, compensated for the, th- the wrongs that were done to them. They're, they're really they're looking for justice to make themselves feel better. And the interesting thing is that justice never does really make them feel better because they haven't released the fears and the anxieties and the, and the wrongs that were done to them. Um, it really is a matter of, of the only thing you can do is let go of the entire attachment to this situation. Um, but when you look at what happens to the, to the evil people, you know, when people have a near-death experience and they cross over, they see exactly what they believe they're going to see and then they transition to something different. And one of the things that happens in almost every near-death experience is the life review. And in the life review, they experience their entire life, all the emotions, everything of the entire life, from not only their perspective, but the people that they interacted with as well, and feeling all the emotions of those people. So as they're crossing over, they're experiencing everything they've done from all perspectives. And that, they say that that's said in near-death experiences all the time, all the time. So when you think about that, when people do fearful, evil things here in the world, when they cross over, they're going to experience the entire experience that they delivered themselves. It's going to be an equal measure of justice in the world. You know that they that they committed in the world. The tough part is the people who are left behind want want physical world justice. They want to hear in the now. They want to know that it was made right while they're here in the physical. But as I've said on many many videos, the physical is just a vehicle, and their physical was just a vehicle. And when they leave their body, they go to the other side. They're not in the physical. So the physical body is it's just a it's just a um, a gesture. It's you know, to to make ourselves feel better, to, to give them justice in the here and now. Um, now, if, you know, if quote-unquote people who commit evil acts or the really dark people uh, are really mentally lost and they can't get, get out of it, then of course they should be held back from being able to harm anybody else. But, so in other words, put them in prison, hold them back, right? But it's... When I look at this question, it really is focusing on the evil people, focusing on the dark people, focusing on the um, on the negative aspect, right? And understand that the, the, you're going to have to deal with your fears and they're going to have to deal with their fears. And their fears committed horrible acts, as you said. But they will have full full awareness of all the damage and harm that they did in this world and they'll completely understand it but then they're going to transition back into pure love and people in the physical have a hard time with that how can they be embraced into heaven if they've done this 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 and this because it's all one and those horrible acts were life experiences that show us the 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 lack of love and those those 
big, powerful lack of love moments give us the dichotomy that lets us understand what love really is. And so they're going to get their, their justice in their own time as they cross over. The other thing is, is, is it really justice to send them to their death? If you're trying to get a physical world justice on someone, is it really justice to send them to their death to end up back in love again? So that that's something you're going to have to wrestle with. For me, because when they cross over, they're going to experience it all. It is absolutely a justice per se, but I think it's probably more more um, a consequence to put them in prison for life because then they have to deal with the physical world for a longer time, longer linear time. So it, it really it comes down to your, your beliefs about the situation, but understand that when everybody on this planet crosses over, they're going to experience what they believe because you have to transition from your belief, which is this construct, back into the oneness of the source. And that's why Christians see Jesus and Hindus see Shiva and others see Buddha when they cross over. And people who believe in hell will see a hell if they think they've done something wrong, if they think they're a sinner, which many do. Um, so they're going to have to go through all those experiences, all those beliefs, and and strip all that away because when... When you're crossing over, you're becoming enlightened, and what enlightenment means is just setting down all those beliefs. You're, you're, you're no longer carrying the burden of those beliefs, those ideas, and you're going back into the oneness and just the pure bliss of God. So I hope that answers your question. Uh, you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. See ya. Bye. Thank you so much for watching. The John of the New Channel is solely funded by your generous donations and purchases of private readings and merchandise. To help out, go to johnofnew.com or use the donation link in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share.